You rolling? Yeah, girl. Man, look, as long as I have been in Texas, I'm going to tell you, bro, I have never, ever, I haven't seen a better performer than this cat right here sitting next to me. Come on, I man. promise you, bro. I have not I seen, mean, I have not seen one. Dance. Rap, dance, sing, whatever you want to call it, I have not seen one better. I'll put my bottom dollar on that. I promise you. Straight Come up. Come on, now. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Survive, you know, 2020 new media. You know, we we we, we gave y'all a lot of the, the the people outside the business, but you know we gotta stay humble and stay to our, our roots and have an actual artist in the building. Today we had Reese in the building. You know, it's bad guy season. Come on now, it's coming down. Yeah, you know, um, we already gave you the hype intro, so I'm gonna just let my player partner Reese. You know what I'm saying? My light skinned brother from another mother. Right. Down where he from. What are you talking about, man? Reese, tell him, what, tell, tell him what's good, man. Hey, man. My name is Reese, Dallas, Texas. I'm putting on. Uh, shout out Peace of Mind. Shout out Dallas Open Mic. Shout out Green Elephant. Shout out Bad Guy Season. We got some new work coming out September 25th. I got nothing but vibes for you. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Reese, man. So, like I said, man, everybody that's tuning into the channel, we've been we've been covering the DJs, we've been right. covering the vloggers, we've been covering the, the YouTubers. Mm -hmm. We got to bring it back to our roots, man. Right. So, you know, you from Dallas, you know, is this your hometown where you call home? Right. So, I, I live like 30 minutes outside of Dallas. I was born and raised kind of back and forth between like the Mesquite area and Jackson, Mississippi. So, I call Dallas home. That's where I work. There What's up, Diddy, man? You know? Another, another Mississippi native, you know. Uh, look, <laughs> nah, man. Diddy, man. I know people like man, like I don't know if you know like Mississippi artists like that, like like Doe Hicks. I don't know if you know Doe Hicks. Time, That's man. my cousin. You know what I mean? Uh, David Banner. Uh, he's people with my cousin. Now who's like, David Banner? Who's what? That? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> but no, nah, man. So you know, it's you know, it's it's, it's goal, been man. interesting. It's cool being able to be able to call two places home like that. You know, most right definitely. on, right mm -hmm. on. So. You know, uh, what, what did you like kind of travel back and forth growing up? Oh, man, I, I would say probably up until uh, I would say probably until I was maybe 14 or 15. I would spend probably three or four months in Mississippi. And then when I was like actually in school, I would be here in Texas. But like summer, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, any type of holiday, whatever the case, I'm going back home to Mississippi. Right on. Yeah. What was that like, man? What's, what, what, what's the culture difference? What's the Ooh, first Texas versus man. Mississippi? You know, we're going to start some beef. Yeah, like right. That, Look, I'm saying? like, man, okay. It's about as close as you get to beef. I'm saying, saying, man, shit. Okay, I don't want to even start beef like that, but I don't know, man. Mississippi, like, is different. I would say there's a lot more value placed in community and family in Mississippi versus there's more things to do that so can distract So it's more of a tight-knit community? Oh, yeah. Like, one of the biggest differences I think I've noticed is, like, you can go to Mississippi, and if you're, like, walking or whatever the case, and somebody drive by you and you don't wave at them, people look at you crazy. But if you do that in Texas, like it's times I walk down the street and stuff, and I see a car wave by, people even looking at me like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "Oh, you right?" <laughs> you know what I mean? But in Mississippi, you catch people walking down the street. If you don't say what's up, they be looking at you crazy. Like, what's wrong with him? He not talking to nobody, you know? So I think that's probably the biggest thing because there's nothing to do there. Like there, there's no football team, basketball team, stuff like that. Baseball team, it's just Mississippi. You know what I mean? So. I'm sure there's plenty of trouble you can get into. Oh man, yeah, bad, yeah. I know it's definitely uh, it's 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 interesting to see the change versus like when I was younger to how it is now, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a different breed now for sure. So yeah. so how long? Have, I mean, you're you're in Dallas pretty much full time right now, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, we we is the big deal. Come on, Channel, now. You know Triple, D. Triple D. Triple D. <laughs> Triple D. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying so. Like, how long have you been like calling? You know, Dallas your home. You oh know? yeah, I mean, man. I saw I was born here. I was born in Mesquite. Um. I went to school in the Rowlett Rockwall area. Um, when I graduated from college, I was at UT Dallas. Like I've I've been here, worked here. I've been working in the city. I used to work at the Dallas Convention Center. I worked from there from the time I was probably like fifteen up until I was probably like almost about to graduate. Yeah, I've, I've been in, I've been in Dallas for. So I mean, life. did you know you wanted to be an artist when you were real young? Was there something? That you oh yeah. Early or? yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, what what was your early inspirations? Like, what what, early, what 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 made you say, like, man, I want to, I want to, I want to start, I want to have a, I want to uh, pursue a career that has something to do with music. I think I was probably, um, we had to look up when who did, uh, who is Mike Jones when that came out. That was my Shout first. Shout out Mike Jones, man, come man. On, who? 
Man, Shout out Mike Jones, I, I, that man. was the first album that I ever bought with my own money. I saved up piggy bank money to buy Who Is Mike Jones chopped and screwed off Rhapsody when you, that you, first came out. You know, he's out. got a history with Dallas too, though. Yeah. He's from Houston. You know he's yeah. got a Dallas history. Right? And that's what's crazy. So I felt like him, uh, Slim Thug, like Paul Wall, those three people who I grew up on, I didn't realize how often they came to Dallas. And that, that was one of the craziest things. And I, I feel like, man, it was like, I used to go around and my uncle was also born and raised Mississippi. He's the one that put me on Mike Jones, man. And I would go around with the TV remote, rapping a whole album. I stay flossing in that candy paint. Man, I'm telling you, chopping screw. And that was my he shit. Did, he yeah. definitely brought a lot of Texas. He, you know, Texas has always had like a, a big culture within the state. <clears throat> I, oh yeah. I, I got to definitely salute Mike Jones because I know that he brought a lot of Texas values and Texas culture yeah. outside of the state and just kind of exposed the world yeah. to like, this playerism that we have in this state, man. I'm man. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it is definitely a different swag when you come from Texas. That's probably the biggest difference, you know. Like I can meet somebody from Mississippi and not necessarily be able to tell if they're from like Louisiana or from Alabama, whatever the case. But when you see somebody, it's like people can tell. Like I, if I travel, whatever I go out to Florida or Las Vegas, whatever, they're like you from Texas, right? I'm like man, of course, yeah. of course. Now we'll say like, that. We'll say yeah, that. come on now. Uh, what like it, I said, why do you say like a hoe? Uh, what does like a hoe mean? I'm like, <laughs> like what? Like y'all don't say that, you know? So I, it's it, it is definitely it's a it's a different uh, a different vernacular and a different swag that comes with being from Texas. Yeah, that I got to appreciate. So when people ask where I'm from, I say Texas first, off top, like off right top, on, yeah. right on. So mm -hmm. so Mike Jones like kind of gave you a little bit early inspiration. Oh yeah, man, him. And so it was really it was like uh, Mike Jones, Paul Wall, Slim Thug, and Ludacris. Those are the four. Those, when I was, those are that's a good yeah. that's that's a good group. That's yeah. that's good company. That was that's man, me company. coming up. If you were to ask, I mean, man, I I mean, really, if you go through anything from from their era, uh, I could almost tell you anything from it, man. Like that was what I grew up on, and I, I'm I used no, to go around the house. What grade were you in at that time? First grade, probably First something grade. like that. Because I remember, like, I, I grew up on mostly if it's not Houston rap, then it's West Coast rap, Just and so I grew up like listening. And, and, and there is a link between H Town and. In, in in the West Coast, like, is it really? You, I didn't know that. I didn't know if there was. I just know I know the the melodies and the kind of melodic value that it holds. I could definitely kind of tell some similarities, but I man, I I just loved it growing up, you know. And that's where I drew most of my inspiration from. And I think that's like kind of where my music originally started. Like with me trying to give it that storytelling value and that kind of like uh, melodic value. It took me a while to refine it, but once we got it there, yeah, I, I really say that's where I get a lot of my influence from. You remember your first song? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, so I guess I technically had to. So we, so I used to post songs on my iPad on Facebook, and I'll put the iPad like on top of the laptop, and I would rap over it. And I would either turn the laptop up or down to try and mix it <laughs> like on my own. So I remember that, and I also remember my first like actual studio song. So yeah, man, it's kind of embarrassing. Really, both of them, to be honest. It is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, the first one, the, the first song I did, it was a, it was a. Uh, you you remember Faded? With uh, what was it? What uh, Tiger and uh, yeah, and Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I first song that. I ever did. It was either that or it was Trouble on My Mind. I did a remix of like with uh, Pusha T and Tyler. Okay. It was one of those. I did a remix of that, and then my actual first like in a studio recorded song was called Cause I'm Winning, and um, I think the 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 first one was maybe 2012 when I put out the the Facebook remixes, and then after that was uh, at Texas State. That was like 2015. And uh, yeah, I think that was when I put out my first song. Like my first, like I'm Reese and this is my song. It was probably 2015. So I mean, let, let, let's dig into that. You know, oh, right? shit. I, you went, <laughs> I know you, you said you went to Texas State. So I mean, were you pursuing like a music career while you were in college or was it nah, something else? It happened by accident. Yeah. So I was originally going for um, like electrical engineering. And it was crazy. Like my mom and dad definitely did not want me to be doing music type shit. And it was crazy how it just kind of like happened. Like I just met couple people from Texas they, they State. They push against it or something? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because it's like, they both got like master degrees. Like they're like, my family's like educated or educators. So when it's like, I come along and I'm like, I want to be a rapper. They was like, what the fuck wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like they were not feeling that. I but um, that. yeah, man. So I was like, you know, at first I was kind of like, okay. Values. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you don't go to school, get your degree, go work and do this for somebody else, whatever the case. Like, like, do that on the side. Yeah. So. Right. On the side. And I was like, at, at first I believed them too. I was like, you right. Like, let me just push this shit to the side. I remember like when I first started, man, it was so tough because I was doing free shows. Couldn't get people to come to them. It was the craziest shit ever. And it's like walking distance from campus. I was trying and I was putting out little songs here and there or whatever. And I remember um, it all kind of changed. Like it was like I had a birthday and I don't know what made it different. Maybe it was my birthday or however it played out. But it went from I'm in a building with the capacity of maybe 20 
couldn't get nothing but I'm looking at the other artists in the room type shit. And then next thing you know, it's like I got trying to like 50, 60 people trying to pack into a 20 person space like just to see me. And it just kind of took off from there. But it was definitely uh, it was rocky at first. That shit used to be funny back then. What college was it? Uh, Texas State. Texas State University in San Marcos. San Marcos. Yeah. Oh, what's up, That's my man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. What was it? Eat him up. Eat him up. Come on now. Oh, yeah. That was different, man. I have to say the artists in there were built different, you know? And um, it took me a while to find my identity because, uh, you know, it it was a lot of people that sounded like other people, you know? Let's talk about that, man. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, since we we got another artist on this channel, man, Mm -hmm. I, I really don't feel like that's something that we've covered you know, mm-hmm. very well on the channel. So we'll definitely take the opportunity to do that, man. Yeah. Describe what it was like and you know, your journey in finding your, your identity as an artist.